That sounds fucked up. It sounds like our all our clips working. Central time. Yeah, that's because we come on at 420 Central time. Daytime. Daytime. Daytime is fuck. Daytime is fuck. You're an idiot. I guess it's just this one. Oh. Yeah, something's wrong with that one. <laughs> We're still getting the bugs out of the new joint. I'm telling you, it doesn't look like anything's changed. I, I mean, besides you guys are standing in a different spot, I mean, we might as well just be at the old joint. <clears throat> I mean, you know what? Pretty fucking cool you guys could do that. Miracly make our, our fucking shop reappear in a whole new place. I can hear a lot more outside shit. We're going to have to get some better insulation, you know? Douchebag, you're an idiot. Sober dicks in the house, hell yeah. We are going to jump on the Zooms just like we uh, have done. I was trying to figure out when we start doing live broadcasts, and I want to say it was uh, last summer. And then we did them all through the holidays, and then we had an interruption from February to now. But we're back like a motherfucker. Cheers. Here's to you. I got hot. Oh, that is tasty. Let me go into the computer here. If you want to join us on Zoom, it's real simple. Uh, the link is in the description for this video and also um you know we send it out in an email so if you uh, make sure you get on the email list you gotta put in a password password's jessup and let's join in and see what producer mike's up to oh yeah producer mike What's up, buddy? How's it going, Steve? <laughs> Welcome back. Welcome back. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. That's dun, awesome, dun. man. Welcome back. I like you made a sign like I was at the airport. This dude cost me 300 bucks. <clears throat> oh, you had to pay for this? Oh, yeah, man. Oh, yeah. But I'm going to write it off. I haven't done my taxes yet. Tax day, everybody. April 15th. Have you done your taxes tax yet? Tax day. That's it. Oh, That's man. It. I'm glad you said something so I could tell them to fuck off twice. <laughs> uh, oh, yep. man. It's good to see you. For those who don't know, that's producer Mike. Producer Mike runs the Zoom room. That's the Zoom room right there. Look, he's officially inside of Zoom. I am. Yep. And, uh,. So, if you want to get on the show, you got to talk to him. 
Yes, and uh, I just want to let Mike, everybody know. Shit out, stop being a fuck stick. I have figured. <laughs> we really well. To be honest, I, I I'm sure everybody has been. I, we're so happy that everything's worked out with your new digs. But uh, I kind of enjoyed the, day, the 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 time off. To be honest with you, Steve, because I needed time to figure shit out, and I think right. I have. And I think I have. And one of those things, and I don't know if I figured anything out yet, but um, we've got two people waiting in the waiting room, and that is uh, Eddie and, uh, and Jeremy. Um, we're trying something new. Um, we're going to leave the participants that are going to join you in the waiting room, and we're going to bring them in one at a time. So, so normally we would have a full, you know, on the on the right hand side of your screen there, we'd see everybody joining. Yeah. We're gonna bring we're gonna bring everyone in one at a time, like the Tonight Show. I like it. Yeah, I think so, and it might very official, uh, very professional. Yeah, that's right, and we won't kick anybody out afterwards. Um, but we may ask them to move on down the couch and uh, click on mute. That's uh, that's all we're gonna ask them. <laughs> move on down the couch. That's it. That's yeah. It. But um, so, yeah, um, I, I have a question that popped into my head. I, I oh, saw okay. that the stream started and yeah. and I looked at your I looked at your background there and what you got going on. And I just are all the houses in Tennessee built exactly the same. Is 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 that why everything's the same? Well, did you hear that? I was saying that I had actually been in jail. Yeah, I, I I heard that, but um, you know, you you seem to get bail really quick all the time. Yeah, sometimes which... you got to sit there for a couple months. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we're glad everything fits in there, man. That looks good. Yeah, man. I I want I like thing when a thing is good. I don't want it to change. And so while I have moved over the years, I've always had the same bar. Cool. And uh, yeah. then once we got the podcast set up, I didn't want to change it. So go with what works. Yeah, you know, you find a comfortable fucking t-shirt or in the uh, What's the oldest pair of underwear you think you got, producer Mike? I can tell you. Um would have been 1999. You think you got any from high school? I got. I still got one from the '90s. No, I had high school. I was '80s for me. So 1990s. Um, it's a pair of them uh, LL Bean. You know LL Bean branded clothes. Apparently, they never wear out. And, I mean, um, I didn't know you were a dad. <laughs> I better not be a dad. <laughs> I mean, if you're wearing LL Bean underwear, that sounds like some real dad shit. Well, it was a gift from my grandma who has since passed, so I just can't bring myself to get rid of the underwear. Oh, uh, that's even probably more upsetting now that uh, glad you, you think asked, of didn't grandma you? every time you slide those fucking pair of underwear on. Now, what uh, color are they? Blue-ish. Blue. Do you think <laughs> of Nana whenever you put, put one leg in? Fortunately, I do. Oh my God! What is she wearing when you think of her? <laughs> oh no, she's wearing the whole house coat thing. That's the only thing I remember—the whole grandma house coat holding cookies. So it's all good. Yeah. Okay, it's nothing of not, nothing like this new porn, because mm, a lot of no. people apparently want to do it with their sister or stepsister, and no, I mean that that could be next. Maybe people it's start wanting to break one off in Nana's ass. I don't know. Is that why when I'm searching through stuff, the initial stuff that comes up is always stepsister stuff? Is that why? It seems like stepsister stuff is always at the top. It is. But did you think that you were being targeted? Like maybe the algorithms had figured you out to be a sister fucker? Now I do. <laughs> <laughs> But I don't think it is. I'm letting you off All the right. hook. I'm letting okay. you off the hook because I think that's what a, a, the algorithms are saying everybody wants. Put well, there's some really sister. hot stepsisters out there. I will say that. Um, I mean, I guess, uh, ste especially if your parents w got married, like when you're fully grown and she mm -hmm. was just some hot ass chick that ended up being half naked at your house. I mean, I guess I could see that. But, yeah, I don't know. It's 
sometimes it's a timing thing because you know I got to get I got to be working by 8 a.m. and if I wake up late like 7:45 and I've got to sit there and search through shit for 10 minutes. I'm going to stop on Stepsister and just get it done, you know? Yeah, I mean, sometimes the chick is hot and you just like, I'm going to overlook the sister business and just, you know. Yeah. I mean, I yeah. know that they're probably pretending anyway, so. <laughs> probably, yeah. 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 But I never had a um, <laughs> stepsister, so. Nope, I, neither did I. So I never I don't was even, I don't in even... this situation. I think that lets us both off the hook. Yeah. I mean, I would love it since we have the Zooms cranking. We're going to talk to everybody here in a second. Yeah. Maybe if there is anybody out there watching who has fucked their sister or stepsister. Well, we're going to bring in uh, we're going to bring in Jimmy. Um, I think. Well, just looking at Jimmy right now, I think uh, perhaps maybe he has some insight. <laughs> Testing, testing. One, two, one, Holy two. Holy shit! Hi, Jimmy. Jim Bobby. <laughs> What's up, man? Price of living. Are Hard you? Uh, yeah, no Hard shit. Dixon. Cheers to you, buddy. Um, now it looks like. Are you at a bar? I'm in the head knocker. Oh, oh man, we've been knowing you forever. <laughs> but man, it's good to see you uh, officially in live person, so to speak. Because hey, I've been man. getting messages from you for from years. You have a bar in your house or basement, or where does it? How yeah. does it work? In the basement. Basement. It it looks legit. Like you got a, a fucking band going on behind you and shit. <laughs> <laughs> I wish. Sometimes, yeah. Yeah, it but looks like you a, got speakers and and the. We do a lot of that. Yeah. What is that? Moon, pickled moonshine. Yeah. Yeah. Made by, made by you, yours truly. Well, fucking hey, man. I we talk about that on the show, and people have given me shit right here on this broadcast for drinking that. I like it. Cheers, yeah. bud. Cheers. <laughs> now, oh my God, don't fucking keel over. <laughs> hey, man, it is good to see you. Now, um. Uh, uh, Mike, what, now what were we talking about right before we came in on that you said that he would be a good candidate for? Oh, um, yeah, Jimmy, we were talking about banging stepsisters. Yeah. Yeah, not your sister, your stepsister. Okay. And, yeah, so um, we were How just thinking. Yeah. Well, I had one. Oh, here Ooh. we go. See, I told you he'd know. When I, when I was... Uh... I like the way you old. said you had one too. Well, she's, she's gone to the great beyond. <laughs> oh, got. Oh, you had back, one that you did do it with, and it's not old, here anymore. Okay. I'm here now. I would look across the hall from my bedroom. Nice. And the bathroom door would be cracked open. Yeah. And she'd be in there drying off from the shower just a little bit too long. Oh, okay. Ooh, I'm but it was just long enough down. for me. <laughs> Oh man, well she did like get the towel, uh, like uh, oh she oh and yeah, run it up and down on it. Oh yeah, and that's not nice yeah. if you leave that fucking dirty snatch towel on the hook for the next person. I mean, I don't well, know if I like that part of the story. I never did go look for it. I mean, did sure. you guys hook it up? Oh no, 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 no. She was always giving me whoopings and shit. Oh, she, wow. she was the she was the eldest. Nice. Would she stick a digit in whenever she would spank? <laughs> I never got that close because she knew, looking at me, what would happen. Oh my God! So let me just ask you this, Jimmy. I mean, if you had a stepsister that w was uh, ready to throw down, would you do that? Did you? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah, oh, I had a step cousin one time. I got some puss off of. Does that count, producer Mike? Yeah, because I had four of them. Okay, you have four step cousins. Yeah, we'd all ride horses back in the woods. I bet you would. Is that what they call it? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah! Uh, that, was, that was a long time ago. Now I signed in with my real name but this is really who i am chainsaw 
was that uh were you a wrestler no and it no. has has nothing to do with cutting wood mm. and i'm not from texas okay i remember if you can remember back or look you, up later but you're a show, biker though oh yeah fuck yeah does fuck it mean that's a chainsaw is a bike name does it yeah, mean you can see name. a chain oh got it yep. you check out show number 100 of yours right you were going you were wasted but you were right on the money <laughs> what? <laughs> what did i say oh uh, oh uh, something about head knock i knew a bitch named head knocker head knock something dick some crazy shit like that yeah it was some quality were, writing on episode 100 i agree with you jimmy you gotta go back check out episode 100 all right. It's highly it's highly treasured. Oh, it gets fuck it. All right, girl, <laughs> shut up. It gets played in the head knocker quite often. Oh, this girl does? No. Oh, episode 100. 100, yeah. That, was, that particular stretch. Okay. Well, there you go. If you want to see, he's been, it's like, um, you know, a regular. Look at that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> now what number are you on currently it's friday afternoon that's Wait. number three well you you'll probably finish that jar up tonight huh wait a minute Lost oh, my boy. <laughs> wait a minute hang on wait a minute <laughs> hey, oh is those, are those your panties oh it's a fucking bandana <laughs> oh okay here, I gotta go kind of slow because we're gonna be watching uh pay per view bare knuckle fighting tonight. Oh, yeah, right here on the TV, right above my head. No, you got a gang coming in. <laughs> I got some people that has have threatened me, but we'll see if they show. Oh, I shit. don't need anybody to show up. <laughs> well, be safe, bud. Safety first. That's what Steve always says. Sort of. Yeah, well, he's got. He's figured it out, producer Mike. He's got a bar so. in his basement. He don't have to go nowhere. Yeah. Fuck yeah. He's on his own damn property. He doesn't have to deal with the cops. Just, you hey, know. producer, shut up a minute, Steve. Okay, sorry. Producer Mike, can you yes. see what I logged in with, my password? I can't see your password, no. I But I see that your name is Jimmy Epps. Jimmy anyway, I, I have a YouTube channel, but I don't monetize it. Okay. It's You're offering short, me a job? No, fuck no. But you okay. can go <laughs> look at a video. I don't show for fact. Okay. You can go look at a video of the head knocker okay. on that channel when no one's here and I got the music cranking. It's under Imagine you wrote out Southeast Biker. Okay. <laughs> And you didn't put E A S T in it. It's S -O I'm sorry, O U T H. It's S O E A S T B I K E R. Okay, so it's Southeast. So it's Southeast Bikers, but instead oh of South, God. it's just S O. So it's So East right Bikers. On. You All got right, a buddy. good man there, Steve. Oh, man, he's <laughs> the only one paying attention because it sounded like you just said a bunch of numbers and stuff. <laughs> oh god, I'm, I'm like windy now. I did just take a hit. I just took oh, a hit. Do you oh, smoke? Oh, oh, oh. If I could pick this, if I could pick this laptop up and move around, I'd show you now. But you're better off going look at that video. Well, thanks, Jimmy. We appreciate it, bud. Hey, keep it weird. We always will. <laughs> hey, cut me off. I got shit to do. At a boy, bud. Hell yeah. Good seeing you, man. That was cool. Oh, yeah. Good bud. Good bud there. Uh, well, we had Jeremy for a second, and then we Where lost the him. fuck is Buckland? He fucking failed. Sorry. Well, we'll, we'll bring that. Oh, there Buck. he is. There he is. What's up, buddy? Jeremy up, Buckland buddy? back in the house. Woo! Happy fucking Friday. Hell yeah. Cheers to that. You know what I just figured out? Looking at you, looking at me, we was apart for two months. Uh -oh. And uh, we both 
look a little different. I think broke people like ourselves change our look a lot because we don't go in that often. Then every once in a while, we just go in and get everything cut off. Or we let shit grow out. Also, you want those FBI wanted pictures to kind of be out of date, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, man. Yeah, it looks like you Cheers, just got a, a buzz. Yeah, finally. Uh, I got off of work at four, and I've been slamming them. I was hoping you was going to be on this evening. Man, it's been a minute. Like, I was looking. The last show we did live was February 18th, so it's almost been two months. Yeah, I was looking at the same thing. I was like, shit. I bet she's going to be on the night. And he's like four minutes late, and I was like, shit, he ain't coming on the night. Man, so I laid my I phone like, over, and I said, maybe next week. We had all kinds of wires and shit. To plug in this wire and that wire. So, But we got to figure it out. I understand. I understand. But uh, it doesn't look like any we've done a thing to the place, does it? <laughs> Not Looks one. the same old way. Hey, man, look at that. The dice are even the exact same right here. If you pay close attention, <laughs> they're exactly like they were. Yep. Some, somebody is OCD in this uh, outfit <laughs> and took pictures of everything and put it back exactly like it was. Can you imagine that? Probably Mike Murrayfield. <laughs> <laughs> ah, fucking nerd <laughs> Every broadcast That asshole's name's gotta come up Right Steve? Yeah I mean you know what I need you to step your game up Yeah step your game up Merrifield <laughs> uh, But we got a nice seat For him over here whenever he comes back You know what cool. I did You'll be fired up to see this. I can't show it today, but um, because I don't have the cameras pointing at it. But we put the suburban seat as the guest couch and instead of that uh, van seat. Does the van seat, while it is comfortable, it sucks you in like this? <laughs> can't get out. Yeah. And you can't get out. And um, I want to have more ladies on the show. And I thought, you know, it's hard to see them when they're out. You know, you know. So we gotta, we gotta, you know, got them some room to open up. And yeah, then it's a couch, so you could have two or three of them crazy ass hookers at once. Yep. And then you've already got them in the back seat. Then they're already on the third row seat. That's right, man. <laughs> Now, that's uh, the third row seat, which is even further back than back. That means really wild shit happens in the third row, right? Oh, yeah, right. Yeah. I mean, can you imagine what happens in a trunk? Yeah. I mean, yeah, you're dead. <laughs> that's true. That's where the body gets dropped off. Yeah. <laughs> that's, yeah. That's phase three. Jeremy Bucklin, have you ever had sex in a back seat? Go. Yes. Yes. Several times. Yes. What is the smallest back seat that you've had sex in? A uh, 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 Subaru station wagon. Nice. 81 Honda Prelude, myself. Okay. 1980 Dodge Colt. Colt, all right. These are all Damn neck Mike breakers. You. Damn, Mike, you jammed up in that. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like, yep. Hell, I'd like to even seen that myself. <laughs> yeah. It's like no, it's you, hard to no, get moving I, in one of these Anybody ever done operations. a VW? A Volkswagen? Volkswagen. Fucking A. Was that the head knocker? Veteran. Yeah. That a boy. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Good to see you, Buckman, man. We got fucking Eddie Weber joining the show. Eddie Weber, uh, how you living, buddy? 
Man, living fat on the hog. How you doing, buddy? I was just going through some voicemails, which we got to play all the voicemails on the show again. And uh, I came across one of your old voicemails where the cops were coming up to your driveway or something. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, were they just Which going time? by your house, or was that legit? Because it sounds like they're at your fucking front door. Yeah, yeah, no, they, they were fucking showing up for a fire we had out back or some shit. I don't remember exactly what it was, but yeah, they rolled up on me. <laughs> I'm sitting there, I opened the damn door to the cop's face, not knowing it was a cop right there. <laughs> That's cops and fire right there. <laughs> that was Eddie's phone message. Uh, yeah, all right, man. I got to go. They're here. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, well, fuck. When did, was this? Because, I mean, I know you've had some run-ins, but uh, I don't yeah. think that was that same day. Yeah, Eddie can't go to Vegas with me coming up here because the state of Florida won't let him leave. Yeah. <laughs> We can't go with you to Canada either, motherfucker. <laughs> you know? Yes. Oh, fuck it! What can you do? Oh, fuck it. <laughs> um, yeah, producer Mike's going to Vegas. So, Eddie, you can't leave the state of Florida for a minute. Um, obviously, you've been to Vegas before. Right? I've never been Never been to Vegas. We need to have a. I was going to take him out there and fuck him up. Oh, I thought you were just going to stop with fuck him, and I thought that would that be upsetting. (laughs) (laughs) Maybe I'm sure too. Not the first date. (laughs) Well, man, it's fucking good to see you on the outside. And, uh, f- fucking, uh, how's the racing? Everything's solid with the racing life? Oh, yeah, yeah. We uh, we just actually got done, uh, not we, but uh, one of my home team tracks down here, uh, Hunt the Front, they were up there doing the Bristol Dirt Nationals, and they placed pretty damn well, so. Cool. We're getting our racing program down here. <laughs> Your probation officer lets you do that, huh? I told oh, you yeah. there's a dirt Wait. track near my new place here. I'm probably going to have to fucking figure out. Oh, my God. I'm almost out of beverages. Uh, <laughs> You're fucking slacking. I mean, Perhaps. I have more of it there. And it's a cold refrigerator right over there. I'm going to have to get one of the silver dicks. To Jimmy's offering. One. Jimmy's offering a shot. You want to you wanna see some dumb shit? Dumb shit from Eddie Weber. This is a new segment on the show. <laughs> Your boy John Reap decided to send me something. Uh-oh, what is it? He sent me a damn check for 17 cents. Oh, man. Why did <laughs> he cost, do that? It cost him more to mail me that damn check than the check was worth. I don't know. He, he does a little giveaway stuff on his country show. That's awesome. <laughs> so he sent you one of his paychecks? <laughs> yeah, sign the back of it. That, this was for one episode of the Rodney Carrington show. All right. Well, that's pretty your, cool. You got to get yourself an IMDb page and everything there, Eddie. Man, you know, <laughs> that's a real keepsake, a damn check. You know, man, I was trying to understand all these people are talking about NFTs. Do you get into that shit, uh, Weber? I have no idea what it is. I've seen it. I've seen it talked about, but I have no idea. I've never paid attention to it. Well, like Steve. that's that check is kind of like a collectible, isn't it? Like a. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think that's what the thing is about. I don't know, but it can be a lot more. You know, that's like a collectible, like a baseball card is. And yeah. I heard in the future they might sell like tickets to live shows as. NFTs, and then that is a collectible. Like, I was at this show in 19... You know, imagine if you had a collectible ticket of some famous Eddie Murphy show or something, right? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I I imagine folks have always kept, like, their little uh, 
their little passes or whatever from concerts. It's like the little keepsake. Now it's just going to be pretty much the same thing, I think. Do you have a lot of collectibles? Like, where will you put that check? Uh, actually, this this hangs up in the uh, office at work. Nice. And now it has his uh, home address on it? <laughs> it has an address on it, but uh, I don't think he lives in California no more. Yeah, it's a Hollywood address, huh? We could go to his house. <laughs> well, it's Santa Monica, it says. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, no, I don't know. Santa Monica's down at the beach or something, I think. It's nice yeah, down there. It sounds like a beach town, I don't know. Fuck California. <laughs> Fuck it. Yeah, man. At my new place, I don't know if you'll be able to hear it on the show, but we got a lot of big-ass trucks go by. And uh, they go by with the Jake. <laughs> Giving them the old Jake. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. got to be nice in the middle of the night, though. You're sitting there high as hell, and you just hearing the old Jake break hitting it going down the road. You know, I haven't noticed it at night. And luckily, I've been so fucked up when I go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I have been having the sweats. You ever get that when you drink a lot? Uh, yeah, but then again, I also live in Florida. So you know, like well, at night when you're all fucking having nightmares and shit, and you're all fucking sweaty? I don't really guess I have that problem much. Then again, we keep our house pretty damn cold, so. Yeah. Steve, I brought up the shot of... Oh, uh, shit, what do we got? Yeah, I got your uh, that story that. Uh, oh interest. man, this was not me. Okay. <laughs> um, I had a couple of people ask if, th but Steve, was this you? No, I'm free and clear on this one. What? Where was this at? Houston. Yes, Houston. And if um, let me see if I can do this here. I was uh, able to. I was able that's to a find. a big ass lift, isn't it? Is that a, like a lift? What did he steal this from work? Yeah, it looks like he. It may have been a disgruntled employee or right. something like I that. But I know this story all too well. Yeah, and I think yeah, I if think. you bear with me here. Oh, okay, we have a video. Looks like your uh, grandma's house. <laughs> <laughs> Let me figure out where no, I have this oh thing. Oh, my God. That's All right, he's going to... Here we go. Okay. What kind of porn pages you got there, boy? Okay. Man steals forklift, leads deputies on slow speed chase in North Harris County, Sheriff says. Okay, there it is. Yeah. Yeah, I can see it. There he goes. Did he have it? Looked like he had it up. Can you go back? Looked like he had it up on the highway. Now, see, now, I never did that. I mean, that uh, motherfucker's on I-10. <laughs> I freaking lost it. Going through Houston. Um, yeah. Well, yeah, that's whatever. fine. That's fine. It just looked, when it went by, it looked like it was in the air. Yeah. He, uh, it's a big, it's a big lift. I mean, these, this it is. is not, it's not a. Does it have duels on it? I can't tell these the the shot here that from the website was kind of shitty. That's what I'm looking at the one with the cop car in it. If you look at the, the dually ahead, it looks like either a big ass wheel or dually. I think it's dually. Yeah. yeah, it could be. I don't that know. That is a badass lift. I want to steal one of those also. Shit, yeah. Maybe we can get the same probation officer. <laughs> What's up? We have a new uh, Zoomer in the room. Yeah, this is our new uh, our new friend. His name is iPhone. iPhone, welcome to the show. iPhone. What's up, iPhone? What's up, iPhone? <laughs> oh, there's some echo. Happy Friday. Hey, Happy man, Friday, what's bud. your name? Uh, a little vodka and lemonade. Atta boy. I like his name. I like his name. <laughs> Hey man, um, we're getting some sort of weird loop. We're doing some mic. Do you hear that? Yeah. Uh, hey, bud, can you turn down your TV or whatever you're listening to yeah, us on? Yeah, we got a little bit. Going through a speaker. Hold on. Let me just. Oh, there you go. oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the speaker's off. 
Cool, cool. Oh, you're okay. good. I was about to play this. Mike, figure but now, shit out. So now I can't hear you guys. Uh oh. <laughs> Oh, you'll you be got, all right. Uh, head, put headphones There we in. go. There we go. There you go. Oh, my God. You figured it out? Yes, welcome. sir. So I said before, what is your name? Ryan. Ryan, welcome to the show. Good to have you. This is your first time. Uh, yep. What's we've up, been Ryan? gone yeah, for I... a minute, and we're back now. So it's good that you rejoined us at this time. Cheers. Yes, sir. But, yeah, I've... I've saw some of your videos and then I follow, I started following you on YouTube and I've, I've watched a couple of the, um, you know, I've been following you and I comment on stuff and, Oh, but, are uh, you all the main comment? <laughs> no, I, well, I comment on the live video. Oh, okay. Yeah. Good deal. But, but yeah, yeah. I'm, um, unfortunately weed is still illegal here. So I can't say that I'm smoking weed or like, but I'm drinking and enjoying my weekend. You're not allowed to drink in Texas. I was talking about. Okay. Legal. Well, yeah, they are pretty strict in Texas about the weed. No, I'm not in. Yeah, I'm in Indiana. Uh, okay. Yeah. Don't they have weed there? Fort Wayne, Indiana. Well, I mean, I've never had a problem getting a hold of it. I'll say that. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Hey, man. He's resourceful. Can, can, oh, five minutes left? Okay. Just letting you know. Producer Mike letting us know there's five minutes left. I want to make sure I, I <laughs> was paying attention because Mike has oh, yeah, and, fun new cards. Go ahead. <laughs> and uh, I'm all dressed up. This is like dressed up. That's guess, dressed but... up, man. Good. You are fancy. Well, yeah. Normally, I do. I work excavating and uh, farming and stuff, and welding. And, really? Yeah. <laughs> so I try to I try to dress up too, you know. You clean up well, bud. <laughs> Thank you. You're an idiot. <laughs> but yeah, I love the show. You Steve, like this one or what? Because I've done Steve. a lot of things, and some people like some things, and some people don't. Some people hate this. Some people are like, you I need to it. build stuff and quit talking sure. to these fucking idiots on Zoom. And I'm like, I'm having fun. We're getting fucked yeah, exactly. up every Friday afternoon together. Isn't that worth something? Yeah, it's a great it's a celebration. I agree. Absolutely. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. yeah, man. But yeah, check it out. What are your hobbies? How do you get down whenever you whenever you want to? I mean, I know you can't talk about weed, but like, what the fuck? How do you get get it going when you want to get it rowdy? So I grew up playing soccer and baseball and dirt bikes and snowboarding. Fucking a, get out in the yard, kick the ball around. Yeah, and then um, snow. I still snowboard. Holy a little shit. bit. I'm These only... are all expensive sports, man. You got a good gig. <laughs> yeah. yeah, excavating. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. Dirt moving. You make good money moving dirt, and, and it's needed right now, isn't it? In demand. Aren't you backed up? I, dudes, yeah, I know they're I mean, all backed up. Yeah, we work on some pretty high dollar stuff. Fortunately, even though there's plenty of other stuff and like my there's dad a shitload of construction right is that what you're doing mostly yeah. setting up pads and stuff yeah house pads and clearing clearing land and um but mostly yeah digging basements and now, pads yeah and... now when you got equipment like that every once in a while you might have a friend that'll call you at about 2 30 in the morning and be like we need to dig a hole <laughs> <laughs> yeah well do you help those people out <laughs> uh no i do not but i mean because i was gonna add you to my speed dial <laughs> and we are well, you're in tennessee aren't you yeah but you're not that far you could throw one of those beasts on a fucking flight bed and we'll be down here if we need to bury a couple <laughs> of hookers <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, like I said, I do welding as well. What? 
and I do welding as well. My dad has well, a welding business. Are you a good which, fabricator? Can you make some shit? Build like we're talking about building a race car. Really? Yeah, yeah I've never. Eddie Weber's going to lead the team. Yeah, we do mostly like dump trucks and heavy equipment, buckets and trench boxes and um, you know different stuff like that. Trailers. Yeah. Um, producer Mike's giving us a notification. Don't you have another uh, image, Producer Mike? Uh, you know, I thought you were kidding. <laughs> I really thought you were kidding. Let's but... just go full screen just so we can see what that there's a message. Producer Mike's trying to let us know. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> so upsetting. <laughs> well, yeah, it's an absolute pleasure. And I'll, I'll tune in. I'll chime in another time. <laughs> what? <laughs> you, One uh, minute left. Oh, my God. It was fun, man. Good to meet you. Thanks for joining the group. Come back on another Friday. Yeah. And I'll hey. watch and, you know, I'll definitely check. You know, it's. What? It's awesome. Oh, thank you, man. Um, producer Mike, was there anybody who didn't get in before we run out of minute? No, we got to everybody, and um, yeah, well, this I was think a hell of a welcome back. I've been gone for two months, and we got two of our favorite fucking regulars and two new people. One is an old school regular we have never seen on video in person. Fucking hey, this is awesome. We got a great group here: Buckland and fucking Weber and the Head Knocker. Ooh. And our new Dang friend salt. Ryan in the house. Hell Dang yeah. Salt. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. Anybody? Oh, shit. <laughs> that happens quick. <laughs> oh, man. When it goes, the, the fucking uh, Zoom is over. It is over. When he gets up the one minute mark, then you know. Fucking Silver Day. Uh, I've already started drinking in the house and smoking my weed. I was talking about weed. I don't get that. You don't know the fuck. You don't know where I'm at. <coughs> you don't know. Ryan, we're going to come to your house and steal all your weed. <laughs> oh. You're an idiot. I know. I'm an, I'm an idiot. Asshole. Oh, man, it's good to be back. This was a fun show. That's an attention getter. That was an attention getter. I didn't even know. We didn't even know if all the stuff would work again. We just plugged all this shit back in for the first time. It's been in a fucking box or a storage unit or whatever and it all works still we're still here we're still live hell yeah this is fun come back next friday 4 20 live are we well, we're about four minutes late today but fuck i mean you know we're plugging shit in <laughs> we'll be on time next friday 4 20 live join us in the zoom i'm taking it out with drew and carl We'll see you next Friday. Hey, yo! Hey, yo! Let's get, get fucked, fucked up. up. Whiskey, weed, and women. I got shit to do. Whiskey, weed, and women.